Hi guys, welcome back. Last time I showed you how to age this room. And one thing I did was I put the mold look all around and then the brown spotted look and sealing. And then I took and did all of the darker colored around like the window and stuff like that and tore the wallpaper and all. But to give it that curly effect, I ended up wetting the room with a spray bottle of the watered down paint and then it made it naturally look like it's gonna fall here okay and then I spritzed all of the walls and I just let it run down naturally I'm gonna show you what I did there into this room here okay so first thing I do is I shook up the paint and then I'm just gonna spritz it on the ceiling in various locations so just color it mainly primarily around like the edge a couple little spots here or there and then i'm gonna just let it run down the walls to make it get that aged look Okay, now, you see how that is? I'm going to go ahead and blot off the window where the bubbles are with my rag, and then um, we'll let it dry. All right, so we're going to let that dry, and then I'm going to do the same thing to the blue room. But you know, if you're having a haunted house, you can't have all this beautiful light. And then I'll also age it as well. Okay, so I blotted it off of the wall some so I could make the wall totally discolored. And then now I've got it on there and I'm going to blot off the actual like splashes that's on the window so it doesn't look like little dots of paint. I want it to look more natural. And then right in here where it didn't go, I'm going to go ahead and spritz in there so that can kind of run down. Clean off the pretty part. Oh All right, 
where I let that dry for a minute. Okay, so this is what it kind of looks like for now before I do any more. Now, I'll age this and I'll add some mold and stuff like that and some green stuff and whatever else. But basically, that just took that really pristine room and kind of mucked it up a little bit to make it look like it's old. And then the ceiling looks like it's been leaking. And then over here, you got the mold over here. And I'll do the same with this one as well. And here, the darkness around here is not as um, dominant as over there because the paint was getting down to the bottom of it so it's a little bit darker paint that went on there because it was at the bottom of the bowl so make sure you shake it well and add water when you need to or you get it darker but, um, you can see the lines over here on this wall and over here and you can wipe off your water marks if you want you don't have to keep them there I kind of like them because it makes it look like the ceiling was leaking down it ran down the wall all right, so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and mess up the rest of the uh, railing and add some mold and do some more damage in here since this is going to be an old abandoned and haunted house. And um, this mirror that I made will get hung up somewhere. Don't know where, but somewhere. Kind of looks like she's following you. We have the little creepy guy here looking out the window. And this guy hanging on to the roof boards from the window. And of course, you have this one coming through. There's some broken windows. 